now everybody have them own version of how they make for them nashville chicken and everything else for them cooking up for them kitchen and this is all me the my one in my kitchen so if you want to see how me turn up my one then you have to just come on and let's go now let me first get into my chicken right there so i'm going to use legs and thighs for this recipe now you could use any part of the chicken that you want to use but i prefer to use legs and thighs for this particular recipe now my chicken what i did with my chicken I all, whenever i'm making this recipe is i go ahead and cut up my chicken wash it with my salt and my vinegar and all them good good things there but i like to soak it overnight when I'm making this particular fried chicken, I always soak this chicken overnight. So what I do is get some water, add my salt into it and the vinegar. Cover it up with my plastic wrap and I put it in my fridge. It's going to change the texture of your chicken skin totally. And that flavor from the vinegar and the salt is going to go right into that chicken skin and right into that meat. And tell us the thing shut if you do it this way. If you don't want to go through that route, you can go ahead and just wash it. And put it, but you still have to put the chicken aside for a little bit, let it soak for a few, okay? Now, all the ingredients will be listed down below. You're gonna need all purpose flour, buttermilk, vegetable shortening, and butter for this recipe. You're also gonna need some kind of hot sauce, any kind of hot sauce that you like to use, you go in and use salt and black pepper, cayenne pepper, and paprika. You're also going to need garlic powder and some kind of a season. I put season in mine, but I use Jamaican all purpose season in mine. Now to that you're going to need one egg and you're going to need some brown sugar. Of course you have to have brown sugar to this recipe. Alright, come on and let's get started. Now this is your very first step, what you're going to need to get your chicken started. You're going to add your buttermilk. If you don't want to use buttermilk, go ahead and grab yourself some milk one large egg salt and black pepper Jamaican all-purpose seasoning and garlic and any kind of hot sauce of your choice is fine and you're going to mix this in and after it comes like that you're just going to go ahead and set that aside now for our next step my chicken right there is nice and clean and like I said before I had this sit in the refrigerator overnight with a little bit of vinegar and salt to the water that's all I did to it thus far I'm gonna go ahead and pour my buttermilk mixture all over that chicken and work that into the mixture you want to make sure say so all of the chicken cover up nice 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 with that buttermilk mixer because that's where you have all your season into that thing. Now all I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my plastic wrap and I'm gonna cover it over. And I'm just gonna let this sit for about two hours before I do anything to it. You could even let it sit longer if you want to, but I'm on a time, click, clock, clock, clock. So I'm gonna let this sit for two hours and then within two hours, I'm going to come right back here and I'm going to get this chicken started. See you back in two hours. Now we're moving on to the next step in making the most delicious Nashville chicken in my Jamaican kitchen. I'm going to add my all-purpose flour right here, garlic powder, and some black pepper to it. A pinch of salt, mix that together, and sit this aside. Okay guys, I'm moving on to my next step. It's been two hours since I have that chicken sitting there marinating in that good sauce. I'm going to go ahead and take my plastic wrap off. Now over here I have a plate with some paper towel in it. 
And what I'm going to do is go ahead and drain that liquid off of that chicken like that and place it into the container. Now we are move on to the next step. You have your chicken here, you have your flour mixture, and you have your buttercream mixture right there. You're gonna get your chicken, and then you're gonna dip it into the flour mixture. And when it's coated pretty much like that, you're gonna just drop it into the buttercream mixture. And put it back into the flour mixture. It should be looking pretty much like that. Now I'm moving on to my very next step. In my pot, I have my corn oil. You could use any kind of oil that you want to use is just fine. You want to make sure though that your oil is nice and hot. Your fire should be between medium to high heat. If you have a thing for high high heat, you're going to burn up on the thing. This chicken should be fried on each side for seven minutes each side all right so you're gonna have perfect chicken so now that my chicken is nicely fried i'm just gonna go ahead and let it sit out for a few minutes while i get my sauce done now we're going to add our vegetable shortening. Some people call it lard. I call it vegetable. I'm going to add my butter, sugar, paprika, cayenne pepper, a pinch of salt, and I'm going to add some pickle juice to it. And the pickle that I'm using is a sweet pickle. I'm just going to go ahead and let this nice little bubble now when it starts to bubble and thicken up pretty much like that that's that's oh I like it rather then it's time to go on that chicken Another great recipe guys that you have been asking for in my Jamaican Don't kitchen. forget to share and thumbs up. Let me know what you like to see me cooking next in my kitchen. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Enjoy! I'm going to let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it don't simmer, a time to eat. So, see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. You know, like, bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.